Hi there, it's Inea here and today I'm gonna be sharing a colorful outer space card using out of this world stamps from Lanfon and Distress Oxide inks. So for my background I'm going to be working on some Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock and I'm going to be doing some ink blending on it using the new Distress Oxide inks. So I'm starting out with the color Wilted Violet and after that I'm using Broken China. I'm using my foam blending tool to apply the ink and blend both colors together in the middle of my card. As you can see, I'm leaving some kind of white frame around my ink background because I think it will look good with the distressed look I want to create. So I'm adding some more ink to soften the borders, but I'm not worrying too much because I don't want it to look perfect. Now I'm gonna spritz the whole panel with water and that's gonna add a little texture. I'm gonna use my heat tool to speed up the drying process because I want my background to be dry for the next step. To create a fun distress look on my card, I'm gonna rub the ink pad onto my acrylic block and then I'm using a water brush to pick up some water, mix it with the ink and sprinkle my cardstock with that. You can repeat this process until you're happy with the final result. Then I'm using my heat tool again to speed the drying process and I'm gonna be doing the same thing with my wilted violet ink. You can achieve different looks doing this depending on how wet your cardstock is. You will get more defined droplets if your cardstock is dry. The fun thing of Distress Oxide inks is that because they are a mix of dye and pigment inks, they have this cool reaction when applying water, like normal Distress inks, and thanks to the pigment ink, you can actually see different colors on top of each other like this. So for my space scene, I'm gonna stamp the cute images from out of this world using Memento Tuxedo black ink on Nina White cardstock and I'm using the sink because it's water-based and I'm gonna be coloring my little images with copy markers which are alcohol base. so this way the ink won't bleed while doing my coloring. After I have all these images colored, I'm gonna die cut everything with the coordinating out of the squirrel dies, and I always use a piece of washi tape to hold them in place as I run my cardstock through my die cutting machine. Next, I'm gonna be working on a little banner for my card, and this is a little trick to create perfect banners, just doing a cut on the middle to mark the end point of your cuts. 
I trimmed my banner to 2 and a quarter inches wide and for my design I'm gonna die cut a window on it using a 2 inch circle die. To create my sentiment I'm gonna be combining this scripty congrats with one of the readings from the stamp set. So I went ahead and I cut three of that out from black cardstock and I'm going to other all of them together to achieve more dimension and sturdiness. So I'm gonna add the adhesive to them using my serum one and a half inch sticker maker. You just need to put your pieces down here, pull and after rubbing a bit with your fingers they will be covered on the back with adhesive. With intricate dies like this one, this works great because you have them completely covered with adhesive. You may have to remove some remains of adhesive between the little holes, but it's easy to do. Just move a little tool inside the little holes and the borders with remains of adhesive and it will be ready to go. I love stacking several layers of die cuts. They look like jib accents. So for the rest of my sentiment, I'm gonna be stamping this reading from the Out of This World stamp set on a stripe of sugar plum color cardstock using some Versamark ink. I'm gonna be heat embossing my sentiment and with this special ink, the embossing powders will stick to my cardstock. That's the reason I use that tool before stamping, so the powder don't stick anywhere else. Then I add some white embossing powder and I'm heat setting it with my heat tool. Now to add some more texture to the background, I'm gonna use this Starry Skies die cut just in the top left and bottom right corners of my panel. And it's finally time to put my scene together. I'm gonna be using foam adhesive to other the banner and little astronaut to my background and for everything else I'm gonna be using the Siren Tape Runner. I forgot to mention that I actually recorded this video after finishing my card so I made another for the video. The pics you can see at the beginning and the end are from my first card where I used two base layers of white cardstock behind the black one on my congrats die cut. So there are two different looks, just go with the one you like more. As a final thought, I'm gonna take my glossy accents to add a glass look to the little astronaut visor. As you know, I love adding little details to my cards. And that's going to complete my card for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!